So Ron, here it is. Um, this is with the, 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 the new box uh, to do what we wanted to do. Uh, we've just got an inferred heater just to simulate the heat, hopefully that the stove will produce. So it starts at 48 seconds, the fan. I don't know if there's something we can show. see the air coming out oh, okay the, so the so the the, uh, the board just kicked in the relay for the power there's the fan blowing on both sides Ron as you can see On both sides it blows. And do Carrie, you have a cell phone that we can plug in? Yeah. So there right now, Ron, there is the um, USB. And that's the power in. So there you go. Now it's it's ready to charge. When that light turns on, you can charge your cell phone. When that light turns off, um, it will tell you you can't charge your cell phone. So that's an indicator to protect the fan from stopping. So you hear the fan cut, cut down? And there you go, it is charging. So this happens to be holding. Now with this heat source, it works fine, but it does take away from the fan. So as long as you have the heat source, the heat, you can charge five volt and still run the fan. Now you unplug it, and as you can see, the fan speeds up. Now you'll have to test this on your unit to make sure that you're getting the power off the unit. Now this is a direct heat, so we've got really good heat flow here, and the system works really well for us. Okay? So that's all it is. Thanks. Bye.